So this is the uh, Forsetti Steel uh, Gourmand knife. It's actually part of their kitchen knife range. Um, normally I'm only reviewing outdoor gear. Um, so normally most knives uh, that I review are kind of hunting knives or folding knives that you use outdoors. But um, I actually thought I'd have a look at this because uh, like a lot of you, I actually do come indoors uh, and cook in the kitchen as well. So um, what's kind of cool about this knife, if you've not seen Forsetti stuff before, uh, is it's made of Damascus steel. Uh, there's two different types of steel here. There's a slightly harder steel uh, that holds an edge well. Uh, and then there's uh, another slightly different type of steel that gives it a little bit of flexibility and stops it being too brittle. Um, one of the things that I'm now seeing on Forsetti knives, uh, which I've not seen before, is most of the time they have wooden handles. Um, but actually, although this one has quite a nice little grain finish on it, the handle's actually made of G10, which is a kind of acrylic or plastic that's often used um, in military gear. Um, so the plastic handle um, doesn't feel cheap um, and it actually looks like a really nice dark wood handle anyway, but it has a really nice grip on it. Uh, but more importantly for a knife uh, like this, where you might be washing it or giving it a rinse quite a lot, you're not going to get that expansion and contraction that you get with wooden handles. That means that they tend to crack or kind of misalign. Um, I've seen a few people gripe online about their build quality and how well um, the handle lines up with the um, blade. But actually, all the examples I've ever had, um, I've found actually they, they align really well. There's actually quite a nice finish on them. And then the blade itself uh, is an 8-inch blade, which is more than enough for most kitchen stuff. You can also see it's more than 2 inches deep. So if you're chopping big, thick things like onions and stuff, or even large steaks, uh, it will still slide through really well. Um, I've actually used it quite a lot for about a week. Uh, it's stayed really, really sharp. I haven't had to re-sharpen it. Um, and obviously it's very attractive um, to have in the kitchen anyway. It kind of feels like one of those Japanese kitchen knives. It's also surprisingly lighter than I expected it to be. Um, I don't know if that's because um, I use quite big heavy outdoor knives most of the time, but it just feels very, very light as well. Um, <clears throat> because of the type of steel that it is, Damascus steel has a tendency to uh, pick up rust quicker than a normal knife. So I would recommend once you've used this to give it a very quick rinse uh, or clean. Uh, and then uh, Forsetti actually quite kindly give you a kind of little thing uh, of oil to just lightly oil the blade. But to be honest, for a kitchen knife, you could even re-oil it just quickly with a bit of olive oil. That would be absolutely fine. Um, other than that, as you can see, it's a through tang, so it's super strong. Um, my only gripe would be it doesn't come with any kind of mount. Um, it would have been lovely if it came with a little block of wood or something that you could slide it into and put it on show in the kitchen. Um, I, I'm reluctant to put it up on one of these magnetic things because it may sort of start to impact the finish on the blade itself. Um, but it does come with this really nice presentation box um, that you can see here. Um, but yeah, the only real thing that I kind of miss when I've been using this is it would have been nice if it came with a nice little block that you could slide the knife in and leave it on the kitchen counter side. It's a shame to put this back in its box out of sight when it's such a pretty blade. Um, that's about it really um so uh if you like what you see here with the video please like and subscribe it massively supports my channel and what i'll do is i'll put a description in the bottom on the video uh with a link to the lowest online price uh, and also a more in-depth written blog that i've done so there you go there's the forsetti eight inch damascus steel gourmand knife